Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you some of the autumnal goodness that Zara has to offer us at the moment. This Zara haul is particularly exciting to me because it not only has lots of autumnal tones, but we've got some coats and we have some shoes as well, which I am so excited to share with you. So let's get into it. I'm going to get started with one of the items that I am most excited about. It's one of the best, but definitely not the only good thing in this haul. There is a coat that I am particularly excited to try on, but this is like an overshirt jacket type situation. I picked this up in a small, it was $49.99. It's belted, which is so great. It's this lovely like oatmeal color. They also do this in a black and maybe another shade. I'm not sure, but there's definitely a black, which I am on the waiting list for. But it's also got these gorgeous, like almost matte tortoiseshell buttons, which I really love as well they're like a grangy tone it just works really perfectly with the color of the shirt and hopefully this won't be too long on me i'm really excited to try this on it's got a lovely like grained effect to the material as well which i really really like this would look amazing with a pair of very like high on the leg boots i'm not talking about over the knee but like almost knee high kind of boots and i actually might have the perfect pair in this haul i picked up a couple of pairs of boots they are chunky and if you don't love an ugly shoe you're probably not going to get on with like 75 percent of the shoes in this haul but this would also work beautifully with like some simple black ankle boots as well i have my snake print ones from a couple of seasons ago like a couple of autumn winters ago which would work perfectly with this i also have some black croc boots which would also work perfectly and i do have some more smart almost knee high boots which would work really nicely with this especially with the black i think my like croc knee high boots would work beautifully but due to the color of this i probably opt for a more casual kind of footwear not necessarily trainers but just more of a flat shoe i think would be best with this i think it would also if you lived in the like the countryside i obviously don't i live by the sea and i have absolutely no need for like wellies but this would look beautiful if you were like doing that country chic kind of like autumn dog walk in your like cute little green wellies i think this would work really really beautifully as well is that how i styled it on the website is that where i've got that from there's probably not an original thought of mine i have very few of those but yeah i'm really excited to try this on let's see how it looks okay are you ready i think this might be the star of my little zara show we've got going on here i love this Obviously, if you are over five foot two, I don't advise wearing this as a dress so much. I would, even though it is still fairly long on me, it does have these side slits, I would wear, have very little workout shorts, but they aren't just great for working out when it's hot. They are also great for if you're wearing something like this and you just want to make sure, like if anything like folds up or anything, you're covered and it kind of comes down to about here, I would say. So it'd just be below the dip on the sides of this but if you are over 5'2", five 5'3", five it just depends on your leg length and your body structure again really if you've got a long body this is going to be a no-go if you're taller than me but you've got a really short body you might actually still be able to get away with wearing it as a dress it all depends on your proportions but i do think even if you couldn't wear this as a dress as i would because i obviously like to take a little bit of a risk you could still wear it with either tights and boots or if you don't love tights but you prefer like a skinny jean you could wear this with skinny or leather trousers that kind of like leather legging type thing and i think it would still work really really beautifully it's very warm so perfect for autumn going into winter i am boiling in this right now but it doesn't feel like it's it's not like when you put on something that is made from like polyester. I mean, this might be made from polyester, but it's not that same kind of sweating that I'm getting where I'm like just outrageously hot. It is very thick, it's very warm, but the quality feels great. The color is just stunning and I love the way it fits. Really, really glad that I went for a small. As you can see, I paired it with some like kind of knee high lace up boots. Spoiler for later in the video, but it looks so, so great with them. I really love this. It's so cute. And the belt sits really nicely as well. I actually, I'll show you how I did this because I actually learned this on TikTok. This bit just comes straight out. It's amazing. So you take one side of your belt loop, wrap it around your hand, take this side, and it's almost like, I guess, tying a tie. This is what I kind of associate this with. I don't actually know how to tie a tie, but I kind of assume this is how it's done. Then once you've got this knot here, you take your other end, thread it through, and then you pull and the knot sits so nice and neatly it doesn't end up getting like crumpled as much as when you tie like a regular just like loop you know you know the one and it looks so neat as well so that's how i've done the belt loop thank you to tiktok for teaching me how to do that but yeah this gets a big thumbs up from me you probably knew that already though because it's in the thumbnail but 
Yeah, love it. So the second item I wanted to show you because I know how many of you love my chunky cardigan from Mango. Zara and I'll do a very similar version. Very, very similar. It feels so lovely. The only difference is it has like a double buttoning instead of three big buttons down the center. My one doesn't have pockets. This one actually has pockets. They do it in a cream and a gray. I thought I'd show you guys the gray because I obviously already have the cream. But I'll try and link both if I can, if they're still available in the info box. Obviously stock just flies at the moment. It really does fly off the website. There could be a whole load of new stock by the time this video goes up. I love the unpredictability of it. It's keeping me very entertained at the moment. But anyway, I got this in a size small and it was 29. 99 and this would work beautifully with like a knitted or ribbed bodycon dress much like i'm wearing at the moment i'd probably wear this with one of my black ones maybe like a low ponytail like my kind of cat eye black sunglasses and it would look really really chic but also really cozy and perfect for autumn but also work really nicely with like leather trousers and a pair of like quite high black boots you can really dress it up or dress it down i just love the gray tone of this it's almost like that blue toned gray I just think it's really, really beautiful. I find it accentuates a tan if you've got a blue tone in the grey for some reason. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I'll show you what that looks like on. This cardigan is actually so nice. I like it a lot more than I even thought I would. Like, I knew I was going to like the colour. But I actually really like the structure of it. I don't know if it's because it's newer than my mango one. It just feels like it has a bit more structure. Maybe that will loosen over time. I have obviously had my mango one for two years now. But it just sits so nicely i've left all the buttons done up and just kind of threw it over my head and left it with like an off shoulder kind of vibe which i really really like and it looks so nice with my zara leather look leggings and zara chunky boots the chunky boots really help to balance out my proportion so obviously we've got the chunky cardigan on top but the chunky boots on the bottom just really help to balance out that chunkiness you know i love it i love it and i haven't worn gray or like really got on with something like in this grey tone in a long time, but I'm really feeling it right now. Over the past few years, I've definitely gravitated to more brownie tones. I think it's nice to switch up. I love this. It falls really nicely as well. Like I really like if you wear it off shoulder, the way it kind of slouches. And this is what it looks like if you don't wear it off shoulder. For those of you that just aren't on that vibe, still so cute. Hits at like a perfect point as well. And if you had a longer chest and you wanted it to be like lower cut, you could obviously just undo a couple of buttons. I love it. I love it. This next item could be really hit or miss, but I loved the colour, you guys will know. I love like a greeny toned grey colour. It's almost like a thin sweatshirt material, which I'm seeing a lot at the moment, like thin sweatshirt materials, but with a tie waist, quite a long really simple midi dress. My one reservation with this is that it doesn't have a slit down the side of the midi dress at all, not even like one single one on either side. And being five foot two, I do find that just the occasional pop of leg really gives like an illusion of a little bit more leg length. When I don't have that, things do tend to swap me a little bit. So that is my one main reservation with that. I got it in a size small. It was 19.99. I love the color of it. I'm hoping this works out. Okay, the green dress. I have my ums and ahs about this, but I do really like it. I'm just not sure on the footwear situation with this one, so I've paired it with my chunky Zara boots because I think with a dress like this, midi, no slit, I think it has the potential to look a little bit frumpy on me. I don't know, just not my vibe. It is just not my vibe. Like I always like to have a little bit of interest to an outfit. So if it's a midi dress like this and I'm gonna pair it with like some knee high, like pointed, for example, my knee high pointed crop boots, which do you know I love so much. I like for there to be a slit so that a bit of my leg pokes out and it's kind of like a little bit sexy. Or in this case, the boots that I'm wearing add a little bit of like toughness and roughness to it. I think if I wore like a pointed toe sling back with this, it would look far too feminine in me and I would just feel like a doll and not in a like oh look at me I'm so cute kind of way. I do think this would look good with like a flip flop style heel, you know, just really simple, a couple of straps, a low heel. So this could maybe be like a casual dressy option because obviously it's a jersey fabric, which does make it every day. But if you added like a really simple, minimal low heel, this could look really lovely. I think you either have to go minimalist with this or toughen it up a bit. Maybe a trainer 
So it wouldn't be my initial way to wear this, that wouldn't be like my first inclination with it. I think if I were taller, I would go for a trainer with this. It would just be a really relaxed, easy, everyday vibe. I think because of my height, it's just that little bit too long. I'm not so sure I'd look cool with it, but I'd love to know what shoes would you wear with this. I love the colour though, I think the colour is absolutely stunning. That like greeny greyish colour is just gorgeous. Next we have some autumnal basics. You guys know I love a good basic and I really like the Zara ribbed cycle shorts and the bodies they do. So I thought I'd pick up a few of their little long sleeve top situations. This is in the most beautiful like maroony, burgundy, browny colour. And these are really perfect in the transitional season to pair with like jeans, leather trousers, that kind of thing. I actually really want this in black to pair with my croc Zara leather trousers. But I also just love kind of like a rich dark colour and then I also picked up, because I know I'll get so much use out of this, I picked up the nude as well which is a very nude nude. This matches my skin tone maybe a little bit too well. People might think that I'm just not wearing a top if they see me from far away. I think I'd be more inclined to wear this one as a layering piece or just casually with trackies. I think that's how it would probably work best. I think especially with like a light pair of trackies, this would work really, really beautifully. This nude on me is slightly less yellow in person than I thought it was going to be. On camera, it is still coming up as like the exact tone that I thought it was gonna be when I tried it on, but actually against my skin tone in real life, maybe it will come through once this is uploaded onto YouTube, but it is a slight more pinky tone than yellow, which is actually great because it doesn't mean that I look like I'm not wearing anything on my top half as much as I thought I would. The fit of this is great. I literally have zero complaints. I love the way it fits. There's no excess material. The sleeves are a really great length as well. I'm really happy with that. It's just a perfect like autumnal, don't drink every time I say autumnal. It's just a perfect piece for this time of year when the weather can be so unpredictable and the tone of it is just lovely. And this is the brown ribbed crop, which I just, Love, they look so great tucked into leather trousers as well. Yeah, very, very happy with these. I literally have nothing else left to say about them. They're great, highly recommend. So following on from the nude top that was very nude on me, we also have these shoes. These are, I think, the least ugly shoes out of this whole video, but I love an ugly footwear trend. I just love it. Some of you might think that these actually do count as like ugly shoes, in which case we have like 100% ugly footwear. But I love these. I love the square toe of them. It's very Bottega-esque. And if you've watched my videos in the past, you'll know. I love like a flip-flop sandal heel. They're just very comfortable, very simple. I really like the shape of these. I love how thick and padded it is. It's just very Bottega inspired really, isn't it? And this nude, normally nudes on me are very pink toned. Like I quite often will get like a pink and a nude confused when I'm actually like naming the color because to me, I'm so used to nude being a little bit more pinky toned, but these are like a true nude on me. When I put these on my feet, you can like hardly see that there's really a shoe. And I just love that. They're so subtle, but also really statement at the same time. They've got a really low, super comfortable heel. I honestly love these. I think these are gonna be my birthday shoe with whatever I wear because they're just gonna be so comfortable, so easy, whatever I wear, they'll go really, really well with. For me, they're a very, very versatile piece and a very comfortable piece, which is super important to me because I haven't actually worn heels in a very, very long time. I've also just realized that by the time you see this, my birthday may may not, but most likely will have been. So I'm excited to see, did I wear these shoes? Who knows? So if you haven't seen my choosing my birthday outfits video, I will link it in the corner of the screen. I can never remember which side it goes on. Add it to your watch list after you've watched this video. But those of you who have seen it will know that the tan shoes are a pair of shoes that I plan on wearing with my birthday outfit. However, I thought that I would show you how I would style this with items that most of us probably already have in our wardrobe. I understand not everyone has a birthday in autumn and not everyone's necessarily in the mood for getting too dressed up and buying like whole new outfits just for like, you know, going out for the odd dinner here and there. But I wanted to show you how you could integrate these shoes with items you already own in your wardrobe. So you can see the impact they have on an outfit that would be very casual, as well as being able to be worn with dressier items in the future, maybe next year when we're all like dressing up, hopefully, <laughs> and doing like exciting things. But for this year, if you're keeping it low key, this is how you could kind of style these shoes up with items that are in your everyday wardrobe. So I've got a black high neck knit on. This is actually Topshop current season i believe and then i've got my good old zara leggings i don't know if they still make these but they make a ton 
of different leggings and these are a little bit more like they remind me of disco pants like so they've got that kind of sheen to them like a wet look legging but i really love these they're nice and lightweight which is great for this time of year when it gets like deep into winter my actual like thick zara trousery legging situations come out but this side of autumn these are great because they're just that little bit thinner they're much more of a legging feel if you know what i mean i love the color i love the shape of them they're a very versatile shoe they're great i love them i'm gonna follow that up with a really ugly pair of shoes are you ready these are probably the ugliest out of maybe the ugliest out of this video it depends on your preferences i love them i love them so much they look so ugly on camera but i've worn these if you haven't already seen them you may have already seen these got a sneaky little sneak peek in my what i wore in a week video which i think has gone up already i'm ahead on the videos can i get a pat on the back for that because it's been years since i've been this ahead on the videos but anyway these i just love they're very birkenstock-esque but in an almost faux sheepskin kind of fabric they match my chair I love it. I love it so much. But these work really, really well if I'm wearing a neutral outfit. Anything like black and cream, basically, the colours that are on the shoe. If I stick to that colour palette and use these to add texture, it actually works really, really well. And I think I'll get a lot of use out of these because I just love an ugly shoe. So I definitely see me wearing these a lot up until it gets too cold. And then I'm just going to live in my Zara flat, like chunky, ugly boots. I got a pair last year and I fully plan on wearing them again this year. Yeah, I will live in those. But I actually, fun fact about me, I really hate wearing like full shoes i prefer to walk around barefoot the majority of the time so i will basically put off wearing my chunky boots for as long as possible and it strings out the fun of autumn because i feel like sometimes we rush to get into the autumnal goodness really really early forgetting that autumn stretches on for a very long time and then after that we have winter oh my mother's here hi mom i'm back so i will show you some of the ways that i would style these and let me know in the comments what you think do we love these do we hate these i want to know so next we have the ugly little like birkenstock fluffy shoes which i just love so much and this is probably my favorite example of how i would wear these shoes especially at the moment with it being very like temperamental weather wise a black midi dress and then my mango chunky knitted cardigan it's just a really nice really easy everyday outfit that has a really nice amount of texture and interest to it because of the texture of the cardigan and then the texture of the shoes and the shoes are basically like the same tones as what is on my top half so we've got the black sole of the shoe and then the kind of cream faux shirling 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 and then obviously the black of my dress and the cream of the cardigan and i just feel like it's a really nice easy everyday way to wear these they're so so cute and obviously you can do leather trousers in a cardigan when it gets a little bit colder it's just very versatile very easy but i would stick to the cream and nude color palette just to avoid it being a bit overwhelming so moving on i have a few more basics which aren't in autumnal colors but are perfect for autumn and i'm really excited to style these up firstly we have this knitted bralette which you might be thinking like this is so much more of like a summer item but this would be so cute with like high-waisted leather trousers especially if they're in more of a like baggy or cigarette style and then like an over shirt over the top i think that would look so cute and it's a really nice transitional autumn outfit this will also work perfectly in terms of loungewear but also going into spring and i'll get a lot more out of this in the summer as well things like this work really beautifully with midi skirts as well and because of the color of this i just think it's a real classic item to have in your wardrobe i have a few knitted bralettes and i always get so much wear out of them so yeah i thought i'd pick this one up because i really love the shape that this one has around the boobs i think it's really really cute and the color is just so lovely like, i think this works really nicely against my hair and my skin tone so really really excited to style that up so the little new bralette i'm not gonna lie was a slight fight to get on because it is very like tightly elasticated around its seams which is great because it is holding me in really really well and it sits in place really nicely around here this is the tightest bit which i actually really like because it sits just below my ribs at like my smallest point and it's not like riding up because it is tighter obviously it was just a fight to get on for a second i regretted getting the small i just thought things were going to go really the wrong way but actually it was fine i got it on there was no like elastic snapping sounds which is great and i think it looks really cute i paired it with my zara leather leggings but you could pair it with like leather trousers these i just already had on but it looks really cute with my zara i think this is zara is this zara or is it mango zara it's zara this is like a tweed material shirt i don't know if you're gonna be able to see that 
it's a really lovely material it adds a little bit of texture to your outfit without having to be too distracting which i love and then i've got my like i said faux leather leggings from zara zara chunky boots from last season and i just really like this outfit it's so cute so this bralette gets a thumbs up from me it just works itself into my wardrobe so seamlessly i love it Perfect. And then we have some ribbed bodies, which are essential for both early autumn and winter because these are just really great for layering, but also just to pair with jeans or like a leather trouser or even just like tracky bottoms, like on a casual basis. So I picked up this one. This was $9.99. I got it in a size small. I'm so excited to have a long sleeve body in my collection because I actually don't have any long sleeve or actually any sleeved in general bodies. So I picked that up in the black, but then also in a nude color. I feel like the nude would get more wear with denim, but also with my loungewear as well. It's just lighter colors. I feel like I tend to gravitate towards wearing more at home, but this would also get a lot more wear in the spring and summer months as well. So it's just a great piece have in my wardrobe so i'll show you what both of those look like on so for the ribbed bodies i'm trying them on with my jeans i didn't originally plan this i planned for my leather trousers but behind the scenes spoiler these are the last clips that i'm trying on and it is so hot that i'm actually scared i'm gonna get stuck in my leather trousers so jeans it is i'm wearing my new in mom jeans which are in this lovely like bleached like distressed denim effect i love these jeans so much they're perfect like tight at the waist baggy over the hips and bum kind of jean very vintage vibes i love them if you don't know about new in they're a new brand that are like roughly high street prices but their focus is sustainability and i would definitely recommend that you check them out if you haven't heard of them disclaimer i work with them but i just think that they are so great and these jeans are just fab and i will be wearing them all autumn and winter and next spring and summer because they're just amazing but back to the body it does have a little bit more material than some of the other bodies and crops that i've tried on so this is a small and i would definitely say it's got a bit more excess material around the waist and a tiny bit on the shoulders as well but other than that i love it i love the wide neckline i think it's really cute very different and adds a little bit of interest to the outfit because it obviously is very very simple but yeah i think it's a great little autumnal basic essential and this is what the cream body looks like on this one definitely needs a bra with it hence why my hands are strategically placed at the moment but it's not as bad as the bodies i tried on in what i think was my last zara haul they were very sheer like i would have been demonetized i probably wouldn't in this situation but not taking the risk and you know just some things you don't need to see but I love the cream tone of this. I feel like it really accentuates my tan. You know when you just wear a color and like your makeup looks better and your hair looks better? I don't know if that's just because I spend my life on camera, but it is a lovely, lovely color and I am here for it. And then we have a piece that I'm so excited about, but that you will barely be able to see on camera. This is a long sleeve ribbed body with a sweetheart neckline. And I just think this is so cute. It's definitely a more dressy type of body. So I probably wear it with either tailored trousers or leather trousers, that kind of vibe. If you love a classic nice top and jeans kind of vibe i think you will love this i just think it's so cute and very i can't remember what the brand was that was really like known it's just completely gone out of my brain but there's a high-end brand that basically do this in white and sell it for 800 pounds so this is 17.99 and i got it in a size small and i think it's an absolute steal and a really great high-end dupe so very excited about that one this body is so perfect i really really like it one of the things that i really appreciate about this top is the fact that it has that kind of rubber lining that stops things slipping but not only across the boob area but across the shoulders as well so because the neckline does go so far out it's not gonna allow the top to kind of like slip off onto your shoulder which i really like i paired it with my zara croc cigarette style trousers i'm sweating in this right now i'm so warm the autumn weather is really like not doing bits for me right now but this gets my thumbs up the one thing i would say is i could have done a medium in this we didn't have any like elastic snapping or anything like that when i was getting into it but it definitely is a small small like i feel i feel that this is a small which is fine with bodies i prefer to have less excess material the more if you are unsure size up next we have a coat i'm saving my favorite coat until last fyi but this one is so beautiful i couldn't resist picking it up it feels so incredibly soft i don't know what the material of this is but it feels so soft it's probably nothing fancy but it's a really lovely brushed material where they've kind of made it super super 
so often I love that. I got this in a size small. It's got padded shoulders. It's not too long and it's double breasted with little black buttons. These are a matte black with a slight distressed detailing to them and I really like it. It's such a beautiful like creamy neutral shade. Just like a really nice off-white and I love it. It's a very classic style and I think it's something that if it works well on me I would keep in my wardrobe for years and years to come. Let me know what you think. I'm just I feel like maybe I haven't worn coats in so long that I'm like oh I don't know. I'm not sure. I would love to hear your thoughts on this one. I think it is the most beautiful colour. So stunning. The length is great on me. If you're above five foot two, this might hit slightly differently depending on your proportions, whether you've got like longer body, longer legs, whatever. But it is a great length for the majority of people. I think if you're smaller than me, if you're smaller than five foot two, this is going to be more of a like long coat. I just love it when retailers make coats that aren't super super long because it just allows people that are shorter than average height i don't know what average height high street retailers work towards but it's not five five and i am i am very solid on that it is not five five is five five still average height actually i don't know i don't know but anyway whatever average height high street retailers are working towards is very far off where i am on the height scale obviously but this is a very versatile one that i feel like most people would enjoy wearing if you're taller it's going to be more of a blazer vibe if you're shorter it's going to be more of a long coat on me it hits like a long blazer and i think that's really lovely it's got padded shoulders but they're not too padded it is really nice very smart i think looks more smart on than i originally anticipated but i think you could also get away with maybe throwing on like a white hoodie underneath this and that would look really really cute and casual it down a little bit yeah i think this could be a winner but i would love to know your thoughts it obviously looks quite smart on me right now because i'm wearing like a roll neck situation and all black underneath but i do think it could casual down like i said with like a hoodie and maybe like a pair of leggings or trackies quite nicely as well so yeah. Next we have two pairs of boots and I won't be keeping both of them. I might be keeping none of them if they don't work on me. But each of them has a slightly different detail that I really like. I'm very into the Prada boots, which everyone is trying to get their hands on at the moment. So this pair are a lot more chunky, especially at the bottom half of them. They are super chunky, which I do like because it helps to make your legs look really slim and they're very flattering in that respect, but they make your feet look huge. I loved the metal detailing on these. It's very Prada-esque. And I really like the fact that they'll come up slightly higher on the leg. That is what both of these pairs of shoes have in common. I already have a fair few pairs of chunky boots that sit a lot lower on the leg. And I didn't want to have something that was exactly the same. But I did really like the kind of Prada vibe of these. But then we also have this pair which are a little bit more Doc Martin-esque. I've seen a pair of Doc Martins that look very similar to this. And I liked how simple these are. And I think with certain outfits this would work a lot better. Like I think these would work really nicely with the overshirt that I showed at the beginning of this video this would be the pair that I would pair with that rather than this because the overshirt has like a tie waist and stuff like that and a collar and there's just more detailing on it so with the detailing on these boots it could be overload I think especially on me I don't know I think if I had longer hair and I could just like leave it looking a little bit more paired back but this hair definitely does a lot of talking so I do find the rest of my outfit needs to be kept a little bit more simple that's just me that's just the way I like to kind of style myself but that is how I will most likely wear it and I feel like that sums up my autumn style to a T is just it is more paired back and a little bit more classic so I think these will probably be the pair that I end up loving but I wanted to try both on anyway so these are my two boot options. These look crazy when I hold them up. I got them both in a size five. The kind of detailed buckle pair were $89.99 and this pair were $59.99. So my bank balance is hoping that I prefer these. So let's see. Okay, a pair of boots number one. This is the pair that have literally like zero detailing on them. They fit really well. I'm a big big fan of these they have zip sides so they're very easy to get into there was this one side where i just had to open it up ever so slightly just because they were tied a bit tighter but if your calves are wider you can just loosen the laces on the front and it will give you more give across your calf so yeah love that they're adjustable but they come with the zip down the side just to make it really easy to get the shoes on and off love that i am a big fan of these i hope i don't like the other pair because otherwise i'm gonna have some difficult decisions to make and uh i've made a lot of decisions so far today and the decision fatigue 
it is setting in people. And this is the second pair with more metal detailing on them, Prada Duke kind of pair. They even have a pocket on them, much like the Prada shoes, these ones are a lot noisier, they make a lot of noise. I think they lend themselves much better to being paired with like a, maybe a blue skinny jean and then a really oversized leather jacket. But looking at these on, I'm really not sure how much wear I will get out of them. They are much more statement and just something that I'm not sure that I'd wear as regularly. However, the more plain pair of boots I can see myself wearing with a lot more things. They're a little bit more classic and I just see them working with more things in my wardrobe. So these are nice, but I just don't think that they are for me. If I still had long hair, I do feel like this autumn winter I'd probably be going for a much like tougher more edgy look because I find long hair adds like a nice juxtaposition it kind of softens a leather jacket I feel like Freya I think is it Freya Killen she does an edgy look so well I think she might even have these boots or something very similar definitely check her out but if I had my long hair that was more like that I have serious hair envy if that girl is incredible but I'd definitely be going more down that vibe but I'm gonna be honest this cut and my really boxy leather jacket I do feel a bit 80s with it so I'm kind of working that out and it's probably a vibe that I will revisit but I'm just kind of working out how you know you know so I don't see these getting like a ton of wear right now but I think there are some people out there that will just love them i still love the prada boots i think maybe because they are shorter in the leg length you can actually get away with them and they're slightly less of a statement whereas these are like these are very interesting but yeah let me know your thoughts do you like them do you love the prada boots do you not love the prada boots would love to know and then finally we have the jacket i am most excited about I have been ready to make this purchase for the longest time. Lots of you will know I love an aviator jacket. I had a Topshop one previously that I had had for maybe three or four years. I got a lot of wear out of it, but I was finding that it did feel and look a little bit more cheap than other high street aviators on the market. And because of the way it was made, it kind of sat in almost like a very boxy way. It just, it really didn't work on me. So I've been really excited for this autumn winter to try some other aviator jackets. And this could be the one, let me tell you, it feels so nice. It's much more slouchy and much more like flexible. It also has more detailing and it just looks like it's so much better quality. I mean, the materials could be very, very similar and it's just made in a different way, but I really like the fact that the stitching along the back, my old one would have just had like a stitch seam, but this one actually has these like leather panels and it just looks like a more expensive aviator jacket. So I'm really excited to try this on. It feels really nice. I'm actually really, really impressed with it. Buying a high street aviator, you know that you could order one and it could turn up and it just won't be the one, but I think this might be it. I got it in a size medium and it was 79 99 and this would just with like black skinny jeans or even leather trousers and then a pair of like high heel boots or even just like flat, really chunky boots would just be everything. What do we think? I actually want your opinion on this one. Like normally when I love something, I'm kind of like, no, nah, don't don't need anyone to tell me I love it. But this one, I'm actually, I like it, but I'm just like, I'm 90% sure. What do we think? I was expecting it to be a bit longer, I'm gonna be honest, but that was one of the things that I didn't like about my Topshop one, was that it was a little bit longer, and then it kind of felt like it hit at a wrong point, but this one is shorter, and I also feel like it hits at a wrong point. It is very snuggly, and the medium fits my jumper underneath, which is great. And it's the reason that I went for a medium because I was just not sure. I actually feel like I could do with a large, but I think then it's just gonna be way too roomy. But I really like this one. It's like the perfect thickness without being too heavy, without being too sturdy. I had a cream Zara aviator last year, which was so beautiful, but it was really, really thin. And it just didn't really, actually keep me warm at the end of the day it was also thin and stiff as well which was kind of like a weird combo whereas this is thicker and it's like more flexible more floaty and i really like that yeah i think it's a good one it's definitely a good option i'm just so not used to jackets that like don't cover my bum is that weird but yeah i'd love to know your thoughts it's gonna be noisy af but one of you is a genius by the way and put in the comments that you super glue the little buckles, I'm gonna need to get some super glue because that's, that is genius. And then it keeps the look and genius. Can't remember your name, I'm so sorry, but you are a genius. You know who you are. It's quite cute actually. 
and it doesn't interfere with my hair as much as I thought it would which is a massive bonus because most collars just really annoy me at the moment so that is it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what is new at Zara. Let me know what your favorite items were in the comments below. And as always, everything will be linked in the info box. I hope you're all having the best day and I will see you guys again very, very soon. Love you, bye.